here always fishing man we are in west mount of gordo but we're gonna fish a stretch we don't usually fish because i don't know if you guys can see over there on the horizon there's like eighty-seven thousand croaker soakers like dudes lined up bait bucket after bait bucket adapt and overcome and we're gonna fish a little bit off of another stretch of the sandbar and we'll see what happens stay tuned guys i don't know if you can see this but look at how crystal clear that's my foot that's how crystal clear this water is it's crazy i love it love clear water so that's what we're fishing is clear water today. I mean, you could even see my anchor. Oh, big shout out to Brett Humpus for allowing me to use his boat, by the way. We're in a base dump today because my boat is in the shop. And that's what happens when you run the fucking shoreline where it's super shallow. You beat your boat. If you think for one second I'm helping you push it off, crazy. Looks like you're gonna have to wait till the tide comes up. <laughs> Done. So y'all see those guys right there? They weren't paying attention. I had Dan waiting over there. They weren't paying attention. And decided to run this flat where we were gonna fish. Not giving two craps about fishermen. And when they saw us, they finally shut it down and they beached that big boat right there. Sucks to be you. Oh my God, that's a big trout. God, I'm sick to my stomach. Dude, that fish had to be 28, dude. The mouth was that big around. Guys, I wish that my battery would have went dead so I could have showed you. The same way that that pescador came through here and got pinned because he let off of it. Three other boats literally just went right in front of us. Like you can almost see their mud trail in the clear water. Hold on, let me turn around. I don't know if y'all could see that color change, but you can obviously see the sandbar. They ran between us and that sandbar right there. They did not care whatsoever. Then, we're, we're like, all right, we'll turn around and we'll fish back towards shoreline. And a boat runs right behind us. Unreal, man, unreal. 
it's crazy like i don't own the water i'm not saying that i own the water by any means but i mean just people with no common sense or no boat sense it's just unreal like i can't tell you how unreal it is y'all be safe man because we might get run over today by the end of by the end of the day we'll probably get ran over by all these crazy guys You're the one who's always like, let's go fish the deep, the deep, let's go fish the deep, Marvin. Let's go fish the deep, Marvin. There's great deep, there's guts, deep guts, deep, deep guts. Mm, potholes. Pot One's off the edge of a gut in a pothole. This was a gut. I I don't mind fishing guts. I just don't want to walk through them when I have to fish them. <laughs> yeah, hit your back, didn't it? Oh, fish on! I'll watch them up eat it too, dude. I was trying to throw at this drum right here in front of me and even hit it. I was trying to throw at this drum right here in front of me in the sand pocket and that trout hit it.